inside the compound <laughs> and like seem like a real princess. Right near the toilets. Yeah, it's living the dream. <laughs> Has nothing to do with the fact that there's no more parking space and uh, they need some of us to park inside. And I'm so paranoid that someone's gonna hit my car, so I park it like right in front of the bathroom. Do you want me to do the whole thing again or just the, the part that I do? Yeah, let's, let's run her from the beginning. <laughs> from, from the top, the top yeah, from, from the, the top. Neck, yeah. <laughs> um, okay, hey, I'm Mel. I'm head of aquaponics here at Green Relief. Um, being head of aquaponics means that I oversee um, all the water quality and the fish health to making sure that they're safe, happy, and healthy because when our fish are happy, our plants are going to be happy too. morning for the aquaponics team starts with um, feeding the fish. They get their breakfast right when we come in. So that usually gets taken care of first to make sure we do um, checks of the rooms, make sure everything uh, looks how it's supposed to. Um, everything from the night before was done properly. The fish get their breakfast and they're happy. So normally like you guys kind of tell me your day to day. We've got some like monthly tasks that we do and we just trying to map out the week um, and just kind of what's going on. So aquaponics essentially is a sustainable form of agriculture that integrates aquaculture, fish farming or the raising of fish, with hydroponics, so growing plants in water. And when we integrate the two, we can create a closed loop, very balanced ecosystem in constant recirculation. And that allows us to be sustainable because it allows us to use 90% less water than conventional agriculture. Essentially what happens is the fish produce waste, that waste gets broken down by naturally occurring beneficial bacteria in the system into plant nutrients. The plants take up the nutrients for their own growth and are simultaneously filtering the water so it can return back to the fish tanks in that recirculation. I knew I wanted a job in aquaponics and so I was looking around and you know LPs in the area. At the time I was at um, Guelph University so Hamilton was pretty close um, and then I found out that Green Relief and LP was really close to me and then I found out that they were growing aquaponically um, and I knew right away that was going to be the fit for me. So I put my resume in, I emailed it off, um, and they emailed back very promptly saying that they weren't hiring. <laughs> and then two days later, they changed their mind and brought me in for an interview. So the aquaponics team is made up of myself, and then there's Mackenzie, and then there's Jacqueline. Um, just the three of us for now, but it's going to grow pretty quickly as we continue with our expansion projects. Um, Max has been with us for just over a year and a half now. He originally came um, from Niagara College and joined the production team. Um, but once he was at the facility and working alongside, he had a real interest in aquaponics um, and a background and, and shared the same passion that, that I did for, for the fish and for making sure that they were happy. So um, he did a little departmental transfer and uh, he's been, you know, working with me ever since and it's been awesome. Um, and Jacqueline most recently, she came on about three months ago. She reached out to me back in January of 2018 asking if we had any positions available and we didn't and we had you know a couple back and forth um, since then when finally in August we were ready um, to hire someone else so we knew right away that she was going to be um, the perfect fit and you know brought her in for an interview anyways and she was just going to be uh, the best the best match to fit in with the team and and so good at, at what she was doing she comes from more of an aquaculture background working a lot um, previously with environment canada so she had analytical skills that we knew we were going to require but then also her personality just matched with with mine and max perfectly so we make a little happy aqua team <laughs> Hey, I'm Mackenzie. I'm the head aquaponics technician here at Green Relief. I typically run the day-to-day -day operations between the systems. I'm monitoring the water, the bacteria culture, and the fish. 
and I will take care of anything as far as maintenance is concerned with the systems. Besides that, I'm always trying to help out between departments and seeing what else is needed. Working for a company that is kind of on the leading edge of aquaponics, there's nobody else researching and discovering all the new things aquaponics is able to do. And being a part of that, it's really something that's cool to be passionate about, to see what kind of crops aquaponics can grow and to see where this will take us in the future. The only way to find out is to try and whether that leads to some failures and some successes, we're ready to take that on. I was excited about the work that I was doing and sharing that with people, but I, it, it was the stigma that was associated with the industry at the time that was the most challenging because, you know, it's medicinal, it's helping people, it's, you know, it's a product that's going to improve the quality of life for people. But for some reason, there were some individuals that, that couldn't wrap their head around it and only looked at the work that I was doing negatively. Um, and, and since the industry has been so popularized and has become so much larger, that stigma has definitely been changing. Um, but one of the biggest challenges was getting people to understand that the work that I was doing wasn't a bad thing. And that, that was a really weird um, kind of feeling for me that for the first time people didn't really support what I was doing right away um, when I didn't understand that why, why they might have been feeling that way. So that was a big challenge to overcome, but has definitely, um, I've noticed, become less of an issue. Although there still remains a little bit of a stigma and sometimes I'm not quick to tell people what I do, I've definitely noticed that it's been a lot less and it's more people interested in what I do now as opposed to looking down on what I do. Since I can remember, I've been interested in fish. I find like any animals that are really different from people are the most fascinating to me. Like I just find like they're almost like alien. So like since I was probably like three or four, I've always been super into like marine biology and fish studies and just trying to learn more about it. This job in aquaponics is really what I feel is like the best fit for me. I'm not like a desk job type of person. I get to do something different every day. It's very physical. I definitely grew into the position that I have now, but it's really what I want to be doing. Looking onto the future, this generation that needs to kind of like take the reins, it's something that just kind of smacks me in the face of like, this is something to do. It seems almost, it seems wrong not to do it in a way. Aside from the fact that we can grow our high quality product, aside from the fact that we um, can provide individuals in need with, with a fresh source of protein when we donate our fish, aside from all of those wonderful things, aquaponics is so important um, as we move forward into the future because of the sustainability aspect of it. Um, being able to use 90% less water than conventional agriculture is going to be huge. We really need to start thinking um, as a whole how we're growing the products that we're growing and how are we going to meet increasing demand while still being conscious of um, the amount of resources that we consume in order to do that. And fresh water is one that is becoming more and more limited. So finding a way to be able to reuse and recycle the, the resources that we do need to use is going to be absolutely critical. And aquaponics um, currently is right on the forefront of sustainable agriculture because it does just that. It recycles um, one of our most precious resources that we have. So educating people on not only why you know aquaponics is a benefit to growing whatever crop that you're going to be growing, but also the benefit of you know from the sustainability aspect of it, and really bringing to light for a lot of individuals that we really, really do need to be conscious of how we're choosing to grow um, and really thinking about our future um, from that sustainability perspective and making sure that we can still meet demand but not be causing an enormous amount of environmental harm as we do it.